fellow farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land getting the grass cut because I don't want to just keep the grass growing. Got to cut it when it's ready. That way we get our cycles in for the season. Just about done here. When we get done, I'm going to bring the mowers on down to the repair shop because I don't remember the last time I repaired them. So we'll fix them up so they're ready to go for the next cut. I'll pick up the grass in between episodes uh, just because I don't find it as much fun to watch me go around with our little forge wagon picking up grass. Maybe if I had a bigger forage wagon, which is something I would like to buy at some point because the forage wagon we have only holds 16,000 liters and we're bringing over a quarter of a million liters. It's a lot of trips back and forth. I tried doing a time lapse before um, picking up the grass and I just edited it out because it was just a lot of going back and forth and some people get motion sickness. Watch me do that 800 times the speed. It gets you a little dizzy. As for Frank, Frank has finished planting all the soybeans with the planter. The planter has been returned. Uh, Frank is finishing up the last field that we need to plant for oats. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to have enough seed to finish the field, but if he does, he does. If he doesn't, then we'll, we'll make sure he's topped off. I was checking on the field status before I brought you guys along to see where we stood. And the two old fields that we, are, we have planted... I did not have a first stage of fertilization onto it. Yeah, and Frank is empty with a seed, so I think we'll help him out. Maybe I'll go finish it myself. But yeah, the two old fields, we'll have to wait until the crop grows and then put the second stage down. So we will be good to go in that front. And today also we're going to take care of the weeds in the sugarcane field. I had a quick look to see what type of sprayers we got to get rid of the weeds because the weeds are at mature stage. So we got to put some herbicide down. So it's not too expensive. We're talking about maybe a couple grand. And I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. And that will definitely help out the uh, the yield of the field by getting rid of the weeds. So I think it'll be worth it. And then, of course, we're still waiting for the price of the clothing to reach its max potential. And then we got to sell some clothing. Now, I've seen some comments uh, from the previous episode of selling all the stuff. Uh, and people are like, oh, with the, with the money, you should go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do that. Uh, the combine harvester is what we're going to save up for. Now, originally, I wanted to do cotton this year, but I screwed up the seasons. So, every field we got, that's something you know we need a combine harvester for. And I would like to upgrade our combine. Well, I want to keep the combine that we got. But I definitely want to like to upgrade because getting a header more than twice the, the width will definitely just help us out time-wise. Nothing wrong with the 770 that we got. That combine can definitely do the work that we have for it. It just takes a little bit longer. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off here. Fold that on up. And then same thing here. Actually, we'll stop off with the pressure washer, wash it off. So yeah, now at least we've got the grass cut. Since the, the grass is not decay, um, we'll just go ahead and leave it on the field and I'll pick it up. I'll probably pick it up maybe, uh, maybe this month or maybe next month, whatever. But the grass is not going anywhere. And then I'll go ahead and put it into the silo bunker. Compact it on up. I won't cover it though. Want to make sure I can put more grass in at a later date. First off, though, we'll wash these things off because they look filthy. Now we'll give the McCormick a quick rinse here. The Vicon mower set. Working really, really good for us here back in the day when we just had that one mower in the forage wagon. Right, let's zip on down here and give this a good repair. Just the mowers. McCormick is fine. But yeah, I was seeing uh, some comments about, uh, well, at least one comment that stuck out to me. is like, oh, when are you going to, you know, uh, upgrade uh, to a better house. I'm like, yeah, we'll get there. The thing is, where I want to put the house, um, I don't have the space cleared out for it yet. And really, right now, uh, the money just needs to be saved for some equipment. The little cabin we got is fine. Do I want to sleep in that bed in that cabin? Not really, but it's there. And it's, uh, it's fine. But yeah, eventually we'll have a nice little house to stay in. We'll get rid of that little cabin. Let's go ahead and put these away. Back up a little bit more, and then we'll 
Nope. Not that one. That one. Okay. Should be all set. I remember when Manual Attach came along as a mod in... Was it late 17 or early 19? But whenever it came out, I tried it at first and I was like, yeah, I'm not sure I like this. But after I got used to it, I love having the effect that you actually got to get out and actually attach and detach. Oh, I didn't lower it down. There we go. All set. All right, since I'm in the Cormac, and that's what we're going to use to spray the herbicide, let's go ahead and take care of that next. Oh, the one thing I need to do, am I still getting charged by the worker? Staring at my money. The money's not going down. No, all right, we're all set. Uh, okay, so we got to come in here, and now we got to find the sprayer. Sprayers are right here, and we're going to lease this one right here. What's the working with of this? 24 meters. That is really, yeah, so we're not going to need it too long. Uh, let's go ahead and lease this for $17.59. Yes, yes. All set. And we just need to go on go on down and get it. Um, let's see here. Where where is where is the road? I haven't tried to find Wow! Uh, someone forgot that there's a big steep uh, curve there. Not a curve, but a hill. I didn't think it was actually possible to get your tractor on the side like that, but I just did. And upright it just as easy. I don't just give you stunts in SnowRunner, I give you stunts in Farming Simulator as well. Uh, so on down the road we go to the store, pick up the sprayer. I don't know why I'm looking for traffic for him, the only one here. But on down to the store, we'll pick up the sprayer, go on back. Like I said, I'm going to try to guesstimate, guesstimate how much herbicide we're going to need. Um, hopefully not a lot. And any herbicide we got left over, I'm not going to bother emptying it out and keep it in storage. So go ahead and sell it right back to the store with a herbicide in it. Well, it looks like Frank got most of the field done. I'm pretty sure it's just empty on C. That's usually what it is. Yeah, he's about one-third of the way done, so I'll have to finish off the other two-thirds on my own. Not that big of a deal. All right, I need herbicide for the weeds in our sugarcane field. And I'm trying to figure out how many liters of herbicide I'm going to need, and I don't have a clue... Uh, I forgot where herbicide is going to be. Um, nope, that is fertilizer, so that's not what I want. Alright, emptied that on out. Uh, let's see here, if I back on up here. There, now let me start filling up. There's a herbicide. Alright, let's just fill it up. It only holds 1,200 liters. Actually, I just paid more for herbicide than I think what I'm going to pay for leasing fees on the sprayer. been a long time since I used one on a tractor. Usually on my farms, my, my fields get rather big. And I'm using the Hardy sprayers. I'm not sure if they're in 22 yet. If they are, I haven't seen them. But either way, let's go ahead and turn that on. And at what's the rate we're going through the herbicide? Um, okay, so not too fast. And the weeds instantly die. Okay. Been a long time since I used herbis. You know, usually I, I use the weeder. Pull it out when they're at stage one. This will definitely benefit our field, and that way, I forgot how much weeds uh, reduce the yield in a field. And here's last year's sugar cane, which is withered. Must well just drive right over it so it disappears. Or maybe not. Yeah, some of it disappeared.
Yeah, when I was looking at it the other day, I didn't, I didn't think there was that much weeds in the field, but now, getting a better bird's eye view of the field, you can kind of see the weeds are, I don't want to say everywhere, but they're around quite a bit. So overall, I think, uh, let's see, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to use all this herbicide, but overall, it's going to cost us about three grand to get rid of these weeds. How does it look coming out of the sprayers here in 22? Yeah, it looks a lot better than it used to, I think. Can I raise and lower that? I can. There we go. Let's raise up a little bit higher. Yep. Let's get above the crop a little bit. Don't really want to be using herbicide around our sheep and chickens, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Still looking, though, for a good pig pen. Just really haven't found one that I look at. I'm like, yep, that's what I'm looking for. I've probably seen maybe two dozen different pig pens out there. And to me, they all just seem rather... Uh, not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Try, trying to figure out a nice way to put it. I mean, nothing wrong with the way the, the pig pens are. Just nothing the way I see fit for what I'm trying to look for here in no man's land. But I kind of want to get the pigs up and going because I got about, like I said, almost like a dozen pallets of pig food over at the Big Red Barn. Now, I don't want to go crazy with the pigs right off, you know, just start off with one or two, but just kind of have them there. Kind of gives, gives us something else to do to mix it up with what we do here. Alright, originally I thought I could get this whole field done with the herbicide I have. Still think I can. I think I can, I think I can. See if we can stretch it right to the end. This is where GPS could come in handy. Although I'm just going by where I see the weeds at. Looks like we got just enough herbicide to finish off this field. I'll have a quick look at the map when I get done to see if I miss any big spots. But overall, I think we got it pretty much covered. I think uh, when I harvest the sugar cane this time around, when the weeds do show up, I'll probably lease the weeder itself and get the weeds out of here before they hit the mature stage. All right, let's take a look at the map here and see how it looks. All right, so what's with... Okay, the weeds mean they're... Okay, the withered? Weeds are withered. I don't see any live weeds anywhere. Is that lime? Okay, so if I take that off, I can see a couple of spots I missed here and there. But overall, not too bad. We're going to call that good enough. And let's see, rolling and plowing. Uh, plowing should be on. Yep, this field definitely needs to be plowed because we got sugar cane in there. But unfortunately, it's a live crop, so we don't want to... Go ahead and hurt our sugar cane. Let's go ahead into the store and we'll return the sprayer here. I don't care about the little bit of herbicide that's in there. I don't want that sitting around on the farm. All right, uh, let's go ahead and park the McCormick away for now and we'll grab the T6. We'll fill that cedar up with some seed and we'll finish off the oat field. And then uh, we're just going to head and, and stare at the uh, sale price for clothing the rest of the day. And go ahead and sell all that clothing. Definitely going to get over half a million dollars in the bank account, which is going to be really, really nice to have. All right, let's go to here and jump into that vehicle here. And let's turn off the course play that's here. Let's clear that on out. And I might as well go ahead and top it off with fertilizer as well.
And then this field here that we're in and the field right in front of us, that's going to need these are two fields that need the extra stage of fertilization after the crop grows. But the rest of the fields are pretty much set. A little bit of cash to spend here. Glad these seed huts are now here and fertilizer huts so I have to go down to the store and keep buying bags and such. There we go. About $3,000 worth, so not too bad. Probably shouldn't be driving over the part of the field that already has a seed in it, but it's all right. All right, I'm going to go ahead, get more of this field done. I'll bring it back when I get near the end. We'll wrap up this field and we'll give the drill a nice wash. Probably repair it as well. And then uh, we'll start looking at the market and figure out when we're going to sell those clothes. That will be definitely with the Mac Anthem and our trailer because that's a lot of clothes we got to bring over to wherever it's going to be. Usually it's a supermarket, but we'll see who has the better price later on. Anyways, I'm going to be going here for like the next 10 minutes or so, get most of this field done. I'll see you in just a bit. Almost finished with the field and the seed in the drill. I'm hoping we can finish up the field. A little having to go back and top off, but I think we're going to be able to do it uh, at the rate it's going. Should be fine, maybe-ish. Uh, not that big of a deal if I go back and top off anyways. We'll just fill up the drill. It'll be good to go for next season. Because we are just about drilling done for the season. I don't think I'm going to create any more fields anytime soon. Yeah, definitely getting ourselves a bigger drill would be nice. Uh, I'm not going to go extremely big. This is a 6 meter. I think 12 meter is kind of like what we're, look, what we're looking for in a drill. The 12 to 15 meter range for the planter and drill. I'm not going to go extreme big like 25 meters or anything like that. That will get the fields done in record time just about. Oh, it's going to be really tight on the seed. I, I got a funny feeling it's gonna, I'm going to have like a little sliver left that I got to complete. Let's see if we can get it done here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to wash off the drill, repair it, put it away. And then uh, we're going to check on the clothing price to see what it's doing. Yep, not going to quite be able to finish it, I don't think. Why did you have to do me like that? Just why? No problem. All right, let me go top top this off. Might as well just top it right on off. And I'll come back and I can't leave that. Not like that. That's going to drive everyone nuts. It drove everyone nuts last year when I did course play in this field. And there was an offset on the setting, which I didn't see. We had little stripes here and there. Can't leave it like that. Well, I almost topped it off, and then I thought, what if I go ahead and sell the drill? Then I'll have to empty it. And then I'll have uh, bags of seed and fertilizer everywhere. So I just put enough in to get the field done. I'm going to have to check the store, though, because I kind of forgot what was on sale. I don't think there was anything that we were actually looking to buy. But just to refresh my memory, but maybe something new has come up for sale. All right, we are done planting. Yeah, when Frank got the soybean fields done with the planter that we leased, that was a 12 meter, and he got that other field, that other big second big field, he got that done rather quick. I was like, he's done already? Did he miss this spot? I'm like, no, he did it all. I'm like, okay, that's what having a bigger, uh, wider implement will do for you. First thing we'll do is wash off the drill. And 
how bad is the T6? Ah, the T6 could use maybe a quick rinse. There, nice and clean. I hate when my hose isn't long enough. There she goes. Now she's really starting to get spotless. All right, that is all nice and clean. Let's go ahead and repair the drill. Uh, T6, yeah, you know what? We'll repair the T6 as well. T6 is getting up there in the hours. Almost 100 hours on the T6 now. All right, so the drill is a whopping 26 bucks. And the T6 is 1228. Let's go ahead and put the drill away. Maybe for another year, who knows? Could be using a different drill next season. Drop that off, and the T6. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put that in the shed because I'm not going to use that for anything else currently that I can think of. All right, let's refresh my memory about the store. What's in the store here? Oh yeah, the TMR mixer. That that one we got. We don't need a fertilizer spreader, a manure spreader. Yes, but not right now. Um, but 55% off. That is pretty darn good. Okay, what are we doing for pricing on the clothes? Clothing, clothing, clothing. It's down further. There it is. Uh, 10, 3, 4, 6. I bet you that price is still going up. So I'll bring it back when it's time to sell the clothing. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and get the Mac Anthem and the trailer set to go. So probably maybe in about three in-game hours be my guess. So I'll see you in just a second. I've been just sitting here at So What, waiting to load on up, and it is time to sell, I think. I thought about this waiting for the extreme best price, but I think we're pretty close to where we're going to need to be at, and I didn't want to do it in the dark. So, yep, we got our Mac Anthem truck here with our unloading trailer. Let's go ahead and load up all these pallets that we possibly can. So, so far there's 32,000 liters of clothing. And I will tell you right now, the price for clothing is $10,412, I think it is. Give or take a dollar either way. Oh good, I can fit all of these in here. 42,000 liters of clothing. So, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to be over a half million dollars. Not a problem. Uh, did I give myself enough room when I started doing some landscaping right here to get out? Looks like I did. Uh, I saw the highest price, but didn't check to see where it was going. Supermarket, I do believe. Uh, 10414 is what it's going for. I know the arrow says it's going down, but the price is still going up. But we're going to go ahead and sell it here. Got to get there before the store closes anyways, right? Seems more logical to want to show up at midnight at the supermarket to unload furniture. Uh, not furniture, sorry. Clothing. I'm getting ahead of myself. Furniture is not until June slash July. Probably should throw my headlights on. You know what? Throw are, are my beacons on now? Can I have my beacons on? There we go. Oh, this is the, yeah. I actually haven't been driving around no man's land uh, at nighttime too much to see how the lights work. I need to go past uh, Lord of the Wings again. So I did put up some lamp posts there for nighttime dining. I wonder how it looks around there. Carefully going around the corners. Don't want to tip this over at all. Oop, too busy watching the uh, the clothing sell. Make sure it all sells. And there we have it. 
we are up to six hundred and seventy one thousand dollars in our bank account that sounds nice sounds really really nice are we folding up the side of the trailer we are perfect uh yeah the rain is coming but that's okay it's night time so not much work to do i do want to drive past lord of the wings again just to have a quick look Let's see how it looks at the night time so I do plan on doing some landscaping between this episode and uh, the first episode next week. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do yet, uh, but I do have a plan of what I want to do. So we'll see how it looks. I say it's bright enough around here uh, for some nighttime dining. Maybe some candles on the tables would be better, but uh, only so much you can do, I guess. And, of course, we got some lights over here by the parking. Overall, not too bad. So, 671000 Uh Yes, I skipped a lot of the afternoon, so anything in the store... Uh, a Linder tractor is for sale, uh, but nothing that we're really looking forward to do. 136 horsepower. Yeah, we're not looking to downsize. We're, if, if anything, we're looking up to upsize. Uh, and if I were to get this, I guess I'd have to trade in, like, the T6, but that would be downsizing horsepower by quite a bit. Uh, but nothing that we're looking for, and it's definitely nothing we're looking for for the future Olive Grove and a grape vineyard that we're going to be doing. So I'll have to wait and see if anything comes up for sale uh, overnight. Um, hopefully it's not raining when I'm doing the landscaping, because I'll kind of suck. We'll have some more things to sell. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got some cakes maybe forming around out here. Uh, of course, the Big Red Barn's always going to bring some more stuff in as well. But the fields are pretty much all set. I just got to go ahead and fertilize the oat fields that we planted today. I got to pick up the grass, get that into the silo bunker. No rush in selling, you no know, getting it compacted and fermented and uh, ready to sell because, yeah, we hold on to it now until December and sell it then. Actually, I haven't been through the residential area at nighttime either. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off on the Mac and then we'll turn the truck off here. And maybe I, I didn't plan on doing any landscaping around this he area here, but I probably will actually put houses on the other side now. So I'll try to get to that. But uh, I didn't realize the lights came out on these houses, so that looks rather nice. I got to do some touching up around here. See how much I can get done, but definitely the, the landscaping I do have in mind. I want, I'm going to work on that first because it'll definitely add a little bit more to the map that we have going on here. And I probably need to make this road go on through as well. See how much I get done, but the money is looking really, really good. Uh, yeah, we almost got enough money to buy the combine, whatever combine it will be, but we're going to hold on and see if one comes up for sale. Uh, that's going to be like a half million. And then, of course, it's like 160000 for the 60-foot header and trailer. So we got the cash for that. That'll be uh, kind of nice to have, but if something comes up, comes up for sale in the store that's used, uh then we might have to go and buy that. And like if the harvester comes up uh, used, that will save us a lot of cash also. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in No Man's Land. But until then, have a good one.